Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at R2Q5 from the Entertainment Earth exclusive 4-pack. Um, this guy is, you know, he's pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. Here it is. It's a 4-pack, obviously, so it's fairly long. And then down here at the end is where um, R2 uh, here would be displayed. And then it's got a picture of him down in the corner. Then on the back of the packaging, um, it's got a brief description of the character. Um, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. So anyway, um, I've already shown this off in um, some of the other reviews, so let's go ahead and take a look um, at the figure itself. R2Q5 here stands at about three and a quarter inches tall, which um, seems right um, with the other Black Series figures. And... Um, he doesn't come with any accessories. I guess there are some parts that you can remove, um, but he doesn't come with any actual like removable um, accessory pieces that you know you could display him with. And that's kind of the first problem that I have w with this figure. Um, you know, we already got R two D two, and he came with all of this stuff. You know, he had um, these little things that you could plug in on the top, and I'll show you this here. Um, these two panels here are removable, you know, so that you can plug extra accessories in. And um, I'm just kind of wondering, since they already had the molds and everything, um, why wouldn't they? Uh, why wouldn't they release those? Because um, as of now, they're still there. Look, there's I didn't realize this. There's actually three ports for those. There's two for accessories and one for. Um, a lightsaber hilt. Now obviously I understand why he doesn't come with the lightsaber hilt, but why doesn't he come with two things to plug into these ports? Just doesn't make any sense to me if they already had them. And this figure, you know, was expensive. It came in an exclusive pack. You know, why wouldn't we get those? I believe the original price on this pack was a hundred US dollars. That's really high for Black Series figures, especially just four of them. If there were five, it'd be, you know, retail price, but for four, that's really expensive. So if you're not getting, you know, the plugins on the top, you know, you know, that's kind of what makes these figures cool. And then on the sides here, there are plugs for, you know, the um, jetpack or, or the uh, little rocket boosters that he's got. And again, he didn't come with those, even though they had the molds for them. So I don't really like that about this figure. I think it feels cheap to me. But, you know, I can look past it, you know, if everything else is done well. He does have these two panels on the front here, which open up, and you can pull out these. This, on this side here, it's a little, like, gripper arm, if I can get it out here on camera. Let's see. I'll try this other side here. There we go. Um, the other side pulls out just like that, but this is the little, like, um, code breaker thing that he's got. And then on this side, it's a little clamp. And that's really cool. You know, even though we've never seen this guy in a movie, he's got a little bit of displayability, a little bit of playability um, with these two parts there. And whenever the doors are closed, you can't even really tell that those open up. So that's really nice. Um, so a little disappointed that there's no accessories really with this when there could have been and should have been, in my opinion. As far as articulation on this figure goes, it's basically what you would expect for an astromech droid. Um, the shoulder joint here swivels 360. There's a hinge here in its ankle. And then um, if you spin his head, his third leg pops down. And then there's a hinge on the little ankle on the third leg there. And that kind of brings me to my final point about this figure. Um, and that's the, um, the leg... I guess feature. Um, personally, um, I would have just preferred if the head was independently articulated, which I guess technically it is. Um, it just spins in one direction, so you have to spin it all the way around to get it where you want. Um, but because it's connected, you can't always do the pose that you want to with it. Um, so it's not a huge deal, but I wish that the head was independent from this third leg here. Um, it's not a huge deal, like I said, but I just don't like that feature. Um, I'm sure some people do, but that's just uh, my opinion there. So overall, I would say that this is probably the weakest figure in the pack, um, even uh, even weaker than OXIXO. Um, 
just because I feel like it's completely bare bones. Um, I, I feel almost like it's it's a straight up repaint of R2-D2 and he doesn't come with any accessories which is really disappointing. So um, if you're picking these up individually, this isn't one that I would personally recommend going for. Um, I would try some of the other figures in the pack before this one. Um, but it's not a particularly bad figure. So if you are picking up the pack, um, it's you know it, it does add to your collection, which um, isn't too bad. But anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And I guess I'll see you later.